since I'm in the mood to make videos, I just wanted to say how my life changed being diagnosed with Asperger's, even though you shouldn't. I didn't know. I was misdiagnosed, I guess, for most of my life with ADD and ADHD, which is attention deficit disorder and adult hyperactive disorder. So basically, uh, yeah, a year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with Asperger's. I didn't know what it was, so I researched it. I'm just like, hey, wow, all these awesome people have Asperger's. Like, most of the founding fathers, including one of my favorites, Benjamin, Fra uh, like, uh, Abraham Lincoln, like, Nikolai Tesla, the guy that invented, quote unquote, the death ray, and a lot of amazing technology that was actually stolen from. Thomas Edison, quick history thing. But yeah, uh, there really isn't anything wrong with me, I don't think. I, I'm smart. I'm pretty good at conversations. I just have a hard time with social things and expressing myself sometimes, but not all the time. And my job is treating me like I have the plague. I think it's kind of wrong. It's just like, just because I have a disability, doesn't mean I can't do anything. So I'm fighting that. Unfortunately. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, my girlfriend left me because she couldn't handle the fact of being with me because I have Asperger's. I don't know why. It's pretty fucked up actually. And talked about it in the last the video before this. And uh, yeah, it's it it sucks knowing somebody for five years and then two years later wham actually more than a little bit over two years but yeah now we're not even friends anymore because I just can't believe that that would be her reason it's like you can't tell me that you can't handle a relationship that you've been in for two years and now that you know that I have Asperger's it's like completely different like oh I can't take this anymore you know that that really hurts but you know what? I uh, wish her luck in her life. She wants to disregard somebody for their disability. You know, it sucks. There's it just seems like when you have a disability, the world looks down upon you. It's just like, oh, he is crazy. Oh, he is retarded. Or, oh, he is autistic. And, oh, he's weird because you don't fit into the cultural norms. That's what I think basically it was. But after being diagnosed with Asperger's kind of makes, like brings to light certain aspects of things that I do, it's just like, huh, now it all makes sense. Because I'm extremely passionate towards things that I really love, like music, anime, video games, and now working out, which is a great stress reliever now to get past a lot of stuff. You know, basically, it's just a lot of people don't know about Asperger's syndrome. They think it's just in kids. Adults can get it too. I have it. I know a couple other people that have it as well. It's just it's wrong to just base judgments upon somebody. It's like, oh well, they have Asperger's and they're clearly crazy. No, that's not it at all. I think I'm a nice person. I treat my friends wonderfully. I when I'm dating someone or in a relationship, I'm a gentleman, hold open the doors for people, you know, be romantic and affectionate. Hell, I write poetry. Who does that anymore, right? I write poetry, give them flowers, pay for dinners, compliment them all the time. But just because of one thing completely changes everyone's perception of you, and it's completely shown me the kind of kind of uh, the kind of people that they that people really are when you when they find out one small little change it's completely changed my outlook on my whole life actually and it's gave me an understanding that 
Like, you may think you know somebody, but until something happens, like, well, you know, you're diagnosed with something, someone else could completely change their mind on it. It's, it's amazing and shocking to me. Still don't know how that's even possible, but, hey, it, it happened. And I'm just going to get through it. I have some really awesome friends in the convention world. They mean a lot to me. The people that I met in 2008, the new Doctor Who fan base that I have now, that I started watching Doctor Who, and I'm told that I look like Christopher Eccleston. It would be funny if I actually sounded like him. And just a lot of, a lot of support. I'm, I'm really appreciative of that. But yeah, if, if you know someone who has Asperger's, don't judge them just based on that. Read up on it, research it. Don't uh, don't go to any drastic lengths like, oh, I'm gonna leave you because you have Asperger's and I can't handle it. It's just 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 look up on it. Just look it up. It's nothing terrible. There's nothing anyone can do or I can do. There's no cure for it. You can treat it, but that's it. But other than that, I just uh, wanted to express that, you know, Asperger's has changed my life. It really has, and I'm sure positive will come from it, but for right now, it's just, you know, it's tough. It could be worse. I could have, you know, a life-threatening illness, but from the way people treat me sometimes, I feel like I do have a life-threatening illness, like I'm just the plague walking around. But yep, uh, that's it for now. I guess if I get bored, I'm going to just randomly just rant about stuff. Alright, that's it for now.